got these pieces of aluminum foil folded together a bit to go on each side. We're going to make some make tree logs, kind of a border to outline this whole uh, door. So I'm just going to, I like to make my clay really thin, this epoxy. Very strong. You don't need much. Bring it around. Bring off some of this. Got a couple hours to work with it. Put that back on there. So we'll move that over there some. Just sticking it to the aluminum here, bringing some of it up, make it a little thinner. Don't need a lot. Sixteenth of an inch. It's more than enough for this. It gets rock solid. It's really rock solid once it dries. In 24 hours, you got a couple hours to work with it. It'll get. Uh, it's really soft and pliable right now. As it starts drying, you can carve and carve and carve more detail in. finish off that top part it'll stick to itself so this piece is totally dry and this will stick right on it then when I'm all finished I'll uh, paint it up with some acrylic craft paints maybe a nice little addition to a little fairy garden or just a decoration to put on a shelf totally waterproof as well if you really wanted to you could put it outside depending upon what else you put on it all right so we got the piece of aluminum covered I'm gonna go ahead and Add it in here, then we'll start carving the bark and stuff into it. Okay, so I put that on there. One nice thing since we are touching the base, just in case, put down some wax paper won't stick to the wax paper then don't want to stick to my turntable all right so we got that there I'm gonna blend in this corner or this edge here on both sides got quite a few different tools I use but I really like these little uh, clay shavers they're soft and pliable they work great so you can just kind of blend that in lots of ability to work with it right now as it dries harder and harder you have to switch to more uh, heavier duty carving Utensils like the little metal utensils. I usually don't have a spot that I'm working for a couple hours. Usually 15 20 minutes, half hour. I'll have the area worked up and completed stuff blends into dry really nice and once it dries it is stuck pretty much forever get around that little knob I put on there the door handle close that in 
put a spot there. side flip them around do the same thing get this right in there to the bottom see how it blends in nicely perfect get it in there just keep working it. Don't worry about the finished part of it right now. All we're doing is getting it nice and attached, blending it into its surroundings. So it looks like it's grown in and it's been there for thousands of years. There we go. I like that. Awesome, right in there. Oh, yeah. Little creature it lives behind this door. Be so happy when this is done. Just make up your own little world. Enjoy the world. You can make up whatever rules you want whatever creatures live in it escape the real world much better much better all right I'm gonna use different tools carve bark we can use our shapers we can use the metal tools let's uh let's get some long flowing bark lines in here Kind of push and pull. It'll uh, bend and twist. Very pliable right now. I mean, it is just a clay-like structure or clay-like consistency right now. And when we paint this up, all these little crevices and textures that we're putting on here will just make it pop out when it's the clay, when it's this uh, gray color, it doesn't pop out as much yet. Once we paint it and highlight it, then it really shines. Liking that. You see that there? Yeah, looks nice. Happy little door. Happy little creature living behind the door. I'll have to make a little creature. Maybe a troll lives behind this one. He's got a nice door. Trolls like nice things too. Or a fairy. Or some halfling. Who knows? Maybe they'll, whoever owns it, will put it on the market and sell it to another little, little magical creature. Yeah. Yeah. Little tiny houses. They're in now. So, maybe the magical creature will sell it to a human. Humans are silly. Magical creatures live a much better life. Well, let's dress. Find a little spot in the woods. 
build your little house. For just hunt and gather food. Much less stressful. Alright. So that's how we do that. I think uh, I like how that side turned out. Looks really nice. I think we'll call it quits on this one. Since I am testing out the new camera setup. And the mic. And then I'll do another one to show the other side going on. Oops. So the other side will go on. I think I'll have it kick out a little bit at the bottom. I'm going to go on like that. And then we'll put uh, something across the top. Maybe something like... Maybe I have to make something a little bigger over there. Yeah. I like the way that turned out. Hope you do too. Let me know what kind of... Items you'd like to see made. Give you ideas for your different fairy world setups and magical world setups. This little guy's not that tall. He's uh, let's see, how tall is he? This door right now is just a little over three inches. So, and about about three and a half wide. So, there we go, we'll uh, finish up the next side in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, please subscribe.